I'm happy to say that my co-host for the Iowa second Saturday of every month, uh, Cornelia Street and Sidewalk Cafe alternately, uh, they're here in the audience, Maria Lizella and Gil Fajani, Italians. Um, I, <laughs> um, I'm going to read two poems from my first chapbook, Views from the Driveway. I grew up in the suburbs of Philadelphia. And this one, Ronnie Norpella, a Philadelphia pal, uh, reminded me of this. I haven't read it in years. It's called Morning the Classics. Long gone is the glow, flamed in black and white. The expression star no longer fits. Smiles don't dazzle and bodies are carved. Cultures become glamour starved. A spin machine replaced spontaneity. Publicists and stylists make the calls. Sex lost its alluring mystery. The classics took a fall. Pop went culture. It's all a blur. The songs and films and TV. Where's this substance? A heartthrob or two. I'm not cut out for reality. <laughs> Um, This is called Soul Sanctuary. It held the secrets of 34 years, like a tattered box filled with old love letters, shielding truths from guiltless parties, witnessed all angles of emotions, joys and disappointments, and odd displays of love, but love all the same. The faces the neighbors never saw, the violent emotions that would erupt without warning, capable of searing a nerve even when tones were hushed. Our refuge had small rooms. It constrained our thoughts, but we found safety in the furthermost corners, far from the minds that sought to control how we wore our hearts. If each, if each story has three sides, then our story had six, and each year brushes a coat of sugar over the bittersweet memories that no longer haunt, but remain tattooed on my soul. And, um, th- thank you. Um, this next poem is from my new chapbook. Um, it went on sale yesterday. It's called Kamikaze Dance from Finishing Line Press. Uh, this is called abs class. It's a mix of things. This isn't nature, you know, Brazil, Italy, but um, this is called abs class. Maybe it's a love story. I'm getting a rush from the music more than the movement. Is he sending me a message through these tunes? Song after song transports me. I haven't heard some of this in years. He walks up to me, lifts my body, and looks into my eyes. He shouldn't be doing this, singling me out. I have great form, unless he wants to, feels compelled to. I wish the class endured another half hour. I want more time to tap the euphoria, need to muster up the courage to ask him how he knew that the songs meant a lot to me at one time. But his body's too perfect. He must go always. He's an Adonis, and I gave up European men long ago. (laughs) 